I do want to go over this because I, I, I'm on the fence a little bit on here. So what we're going to do is go over the blog here. So Star Trek Online, the Kirk class takes command. I said this before on the Discord. This looks good in certain angles. And I compare this almost to like the inquiry. From this angle, the ship looks looks good. I'm going to say the ship looks good. Um, but there are issues that I have that I probably just need to get over in my head. We'll see. Uh, so let's go over it quickly. Again, this is the Kirk class. In honor, in honor of one of Starfleet's most celebrated and occasionally controversial captains, we are proud to present the next in a line of ships pulled from the 32nd century, the Kirk class temporal heavy battle cruiser. From October 13th to November 3rd, we are running a promotion. Promotion that will provide an additional bonus when opening a research and development pack. So those are the R&D packs that we also love, which is also PSA, a great way to make EC. Just saying. When you purchase a research and development pack from the C store and open it, you will either receive 10 low buy crystals or a special requisition choice pack for the T6 promotional ship choice pack in addition to the research and development pack. We are excited to announce a brand new addition to the impressive list to a tier 6 starships that are included in the promotional ship pack, Kirk class temporal heavy battle cruiser. I played the video this earlier and I guess we can play it now again. I just have to uh, switch to that window, but I when I visited Greg's stream earlier, he mentioned that maybe the pylon because my one of the issues that I have here was the pylons. They they curve inwards and he was kind of I think he was joking that like maybe when they were designing it or something, paraphrasing, that extended it too far and so that it can fit somewhere they you know, they they bent it inwards. Um like this angle it looks good. This angle it looks like a normal Federation starship, you know, that has all the right hues there. Um, it it kind of loses me from the top, from the side. It's it's okay still. No deflector on the secondary hull, and it's a floaty bit. Well, it's a floaty saucer, I guess. Uh, so the Kirk Temporal Heavy Battle Cruiser. While this class of starship was originally conceptualized to be a successor to the iconic and beloved Constitution class, the rigors of the era in which it was built have necessitated rather distinct departures from its intended ancestor, not the least of which in terms of scale, long-range deep space exploration and frontier support entail the need for increased crew capacity, additional systematic redundancies, and a suite of defensive capabilities robust enough to handle being one ship fleet at the edges of the Federation. Additionally, this vessel has been outfitted with the latest in technologies useful for temporal analysis and manipulation. Although the use of this technology for actual time travel has been strictly forbidden in the time period from which the starship originates, there will always be a need to break such rules on occasion if dictated by the needs of the many. The Starship features a Commander Engineering slash Temporal Operative Special Bridge Officer Seat and a Lieutenant Commander Universal slash command, command Specialist Bridge Officer Seat. So I'm happy about that. The, uh, the seating I'm okay with. I'm not really too worried about the seating. It's the looks for me this time. So just like the Parliament for me, the Parliament looks got me more so than the bridge officer seating but again we this can be again with people saying that this is whatever uh, I don't know how I feel about those type of discussions uh federation line required has it complete the tutorial hull modifier 1.55 shield modifier 0.95 four weapons five half weapons three a device slot three we already went. We already went that four tactical, four engineering, three science scales of level with a T six X. Of course, that becomes five tactical and the universal slot, right? If I'm not mistaken. Base turn rate nine, impulse modifier 0 0.18, inertia 45. The whole plus ten weapon power plus auxiliary power. The console is a field replicated Buster pods. 
that doesn't even sound futuristic, but sure. Can equip dual cannons, 32nd century Federation cloaking device, which I do like the visuals of that. Even though I have access to it on my crossfit refit, I don't even use it. Uh, molecular reconstruction, cruiser commander ray, there is no attract fire. This is something me and Nick were talking about last night. There is no attract fire on this bad boy. So, um, it is what it is. Uh, Starship Mastery Package Battle Cruiser. Captains already know that. Admiral stats if you're interested. I mean, that aft. It doesn't look that bad, that aft. I'm not going to lie. But it's just, you know, um, the, the issues that I have for it. Personally, it's just the look. It's just the look of it. And I'm getting... Um, Uh, da, 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 da. So there's that. Uh, hold one. Sorry. I am being asked to look at chat. Oh, um, spam. Raw. <laughs> Whoa! Makes do, sir. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the resub there, sir. Uh, that's, I appreciate, I'm honored, sir. Thank you so much, Augie. Ha <laughs> not in this window. Not in this window. He doesn't have sounds on. No, I don't. Not in this window. <laughs> and often he's reading a blog. Try Xander, you're not going to be able to get high yield three on that ship. You're absolutely right. Uh, we shall wait then. Make our move. Easy transit and half Well, yeah, I do. Actually, never mind. You're not showing the screen. Um, Augie. So yes, you're, you're right, not going to have access to high yield 3. So having said that, on the parliament, again, are we at a point where even 1.3 is something to sneeze at? I didn't have access to high yield 3 on a parliament, but I was being fed CFs. And I, what I did with the lieutenant commander, uh, lieutenant tactical was uh, dispersal mine beta and then high yield 1. And then the other tactical station was just Fa, I think, Fa and Scatter Volley. So in a supported run, it did 1.3. In a competitive DPS channel style run with a tank and a um, control, it did anywhere between 300 to 400. So again, is that something to sneeze at? It's not the best ship, but for me, I I'm not worried about the seating this time because it has command regardless so i'm happy concentrate fire concentrate fire power three yay um but yeah so it's the looks this time for me it's the looks so buster pods <clears throat> this specialized set of industrial replicator arrays are pre-programmed for maximum efficiency when activated, they quickly create a series of devastating kinetic weapons nicknamed Buster Pods. Each pod is outfitted with a miniaturized impulse drive capable of a single quick burst of FTL. Travel uh, before they burn out and fail catastrophically. Onboard targeting suites provide the Buster Pod with rudimentary self-guidance protocols, allowing each one to choose an appropriate enemy target to aim at before activating its strategic failure. <laughs> It just sounds funny to me. It will jump toward the designated target, dealing massive kinetic damage to each foe it impacts along the way, then violently expire once reaching maximum combat distance, once more dealing kinetic damage to enemies in the range of the final detonation. This console also provides a passive bonus to all damage resistance rating that increases as remaining shield capacity depletes. <laughs> shield, shield capacity? What is shield here? in this game that's hilarious starship trait risk of our business activating a captain ability will grant you a stacking amount of temporary hit points per foe within five clicks additionally if threatening stance is active which should be on your spam bar if you're in a tank just saying <clears throat> this will also generate a large amount of threat toward nearby foes further encouraging them to attack your vessel in addition to this new Starship opening, the Special Requisition Choice Pack, Tier 6 Promotional tr Ship Choice Pack will give the recipient a choice of any Tier 6 ship found in any previous R&D or Duty Officer Promotional Pack. The player fortune enough, blah, 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 blah. Here you go. You have all this. The toilet. 
the Millennium Falcon Wannabe, the Jellyfish, the Inquiry, Barbecue Grill, Freedom Class, and all this lovely stuff we know already is in there. Uh, da, 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 research and development pack 300 Zen. Of course, we all know this. Um, bef eh, again, I'm on the fence of whether I want this or not. Performance wise, I'll make it work for how I play. Hashtag filthy casual. And maybe, of course, I'll try a torque mode on it. Um, some others were saying it's it's good for beams and stuff like that, which is which is fine. It's the looks where it gets me. Now, before we head onto the bridge, I do want to go over this quickly because why not? Uh, and we're going to switch over to the Discord here and play this bad boy. So again, where it kind of, I was waiting for the secondary deflector here underneath the ship. Of course, there wasn't any, which is fine. I'm not complaining. And I think Greg mentioned to me earlier in his chat about, well, not all the 32nd century ships have one. I'm like, uh, Janeway. So if it would have had that style of a deflector on this, I, oof, cause I do like the Janeway's deflector. I would have been sold. Maybe. I don't know. And yeah, it's a floaty saucer. We have a floaty saucer. Um, again, this has some really good angles on it. Like this pass by shot. Oh my gosh, that was that's that's a good looking shot. I'm not going to deny that that's a good looking shot. The aft. Nah. Nah. The nacelles kind of lose me here with all these whatever these are inside. But again, futuristic. I get it. It's the pylons that I have the issue with being like kind of curved and if they would have just extended straight out i would have been that probably would have been a and keep the nacelles orientation the same i would have been good because from this shot from it coming at you th that looked really slick i really do like that look of it coming at you the saucer is designed really well I, I like all these like kind of uh, structural struts or whatever even the bridge kind of hovering over that middle spot there um i would have just wanted the pylons to be straight so that's just my issues with it so anyways i just kind of want 